Right, continuing on. I'm going to add this kind of, oh, well, let's see. At first, I'm going to bring out this dark line here again. I want this strong jawline there. And then I'm going to take uh, this kind of dark color, add just a little bit like that to the cheek, kind of blend it in, kind of blend it up. There we go. Oops, I'm going to take this dark color and I'm going to add it all along this side here. And then there's only going to be that little bit of cheek showing there. Okay, start adding the Now I'm just going to start imagining where, you know, the lips and shadows would be for the lips and stuff. There we go. Usually there's like a line right there like that. Okay. nose isn't coming up totally as I planned. Add just a little bit over there. I don't know how much of that you'll be able to see. Whoa, I gave her like a Klingon nose or something. I don't know what the hell just happened. I was like spaced out and the next thing I know I had a Klingon nose. Okay. Anyway, okay, I didn't want to waste all that time Fix up the nose. I just like wiped it clean and then you know, repainted the colors really quick over it and got something that looks a little better. Looks kind of weird looking, but looks fine, actually. Just up close looks kind of funky. I think I might have angled this eye up too much. I could turn it around, but I don't feel like it. That is, I can just twist it and turn it, repaint a little bit. But I think that's going to be fine. I really don't know what else uh, what else I can paint to really show techniques and stuff. Oh, that's I got a lot of work to do over there. Uh, I'm really kind of bored of this painting. I don't want to do the whole thing again. So hopefully that was enough, and you you know I I showed enough techniques that will be helpful. that to be too too bright. I want to kind of blend in more like that. Okay. And then let's say I'm going to add my final, let's say I have all the painting done and I'm going to add my final layer. And I'll, actually what I'll do, something, uh, let's see, hold on.
So I got this texture that I like. I'm going to try dropping it over the top of this painting. Let's go ahead and reduce the size a bit. Smaller I can get it, the better. So. A little bit bigger. And I can add this to like soft light or something. Turn the opacity down. And doing something like that actually like, well, if I do that, I can then start painting over that um, and erase everything else and then I can get that wood texture. I can also do it just to give an overall texture of the painting. And let's see here, we'll go ahead and fill it in with some color. Do soft light. Turn it down. This is, a, this is like a glaze. Something like so. And I'm going to try to uh, duplicate her layer again. And go to soft light. And then turn it down a bit. And then I can go in and erase. What I don't want, I can also use a layer mask to do this. But let's say I can erase the parts of that new overlay where I don't want this to be too dark in some areas. So I can go ahead and uh, take off those parts where it looks like it was just overdid the darkness. I can also go to shadow controls on the image adjustments and uh, shadow and highlight. You can do some adjustments there with the overlay if you want. Let's see. Let's go back to print size. So as you can see, that even though the painting was still way underdone, just doing that, look how much it changed the painting. I mean, it just added a lot of difference. I'll go ahead and show you really quick. Uh, I don't think these layers are anything, so I can delete those. Let's go ahead and turn all that off. So watch what happens when we just add. So you can see that you know kind of unifies and makes the painting more final. So doing that final version, that final touches to a painting, really you know those final glazes really does help you know fix the overall look of the painting and adds all the brightness to all the colors you want and all the cool looking. It really, I can say you know really want to do that. If you skip that process, your paintings won't look as vibrant as you'd want them to. So that's how I get my final final vibrant vibrance to my painting. So anyway, hopefully you learned enough. If you really want me to continue this series and continue painting this, I will. But I need I need enough people telling me, hey, please finish this series. I want to see you paint the rest of the painting. Um, without without request, I, I really don't feel like doing this painting to its final conclusion. Um, at least not yet. Uh, but uh, so anyway, let me know if you'd like to see it. And anyway, like I said, on the description there, go ahead and click on the link. It'll help me out. Um, I'm gonna try to put different links on there. Um, I only need I only need like 20 more views to reach my thousand view my thousand view mark on one of my drawing videos on uh, associated content. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to that. That way, uh, if you click on that, then hopefully you guys can help me out and I'll get my final uh, 20 to 30 unique views and that'd be cool. And I'll have my my first thousand hits on a, on a video over there. Okay, so that's it. I'm just kind of rambling now. If you want to see me finish this painting, all you, all you guys and gals, please uh, let me know in the comments, and then I'm, I'll go ahead, and if I get enough, I'll go ahead and revisit this and finish it. So I'm just going to leave this how it is, unfinished, and um, you know, if I get enough comments, then I'll go ahead and finish the rest of it in videos like this, and we'll see how it turns out when it's totally, completely finished. But I like the way that color scheme worked out, this kind of purple, and I'd, I'd add like more browns and oranges into the wood when I finished it, into the leaves, to add some variety. And I'd probably add some different colors to the sky and add some more details to the clouds and stuff. But, okay.